he thinks that you playing with shooters and, you know, the shooters that you have around you this season is making you more comfortable, comfortable and confident in the post. Are you feeling that through two games? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, set, pass on, gravity, and, uh, you know, we added Danny, too. Uh, and then you got guys coming off the bench, uh, you know, and Shake and Furt. Uh, they've been doing a great job. And, you know, I'm definitely more comfortable uh, even when it comes to, you know, passing out a double team and making sure one thing I'm trying to improve this year is, uh, you know, not turning the ball over. I uh, had, I think, one today, and it was at the end. Uh, but before I got out, I was very disappointed. Uh, but, uh, you know, just, yeah, he's definitely making me um, comfortable. And he's also helping my game because now, you know, if you want to double, um, I dare you because we're going to knock down those shots. And if you let me play one-on-one, I mean, zero bucket or foul. Thank you. So next up is Kai Carla. Hey, Joe, uh, just to piggyback off of Paul's question, like even when Seth and Danny aren't like, uh, you know, hitting shots with regularity, d- d- does the mere reputation that they have, does that make it even, does that make it easier for you too, even though Seth and Danny sometimes aren't going to make shots like that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you got to respect them. Um, you know, all they need uh, is an open shot, uh, an open shot to get going. So if you give them one, uh, you can expect them to, you know, keep getting harder and keep shooting them and keep making them. So that also help, helps me. So, you know, I can trust them to, you know, when I pass the ball, now they're going to uh, shoot it and I want them to keep shooting it. Thank you, Joe. Let's go to Keith Pompey. Hey, what's up, Joe? What's up? Hey, Joe, what makes, first of all, what's your impressions of Doc Rivers and, and what makes him such a good coach? Uh, you know, he's vocal. Uh, you know, when he speaks, uh, everybody listens. Uh, and uh, he's just, I mean, he's just a good coach. Uh, even when it comes to X and O's, uh, you know, the players that he's been drawn. Uh, you know, we took a, a little bit of stuff from last year, uh, but the stuff that has been drawn out of timeout, uh, he's been working so far. Uh, so we, I mean, he's been, he's been great. Thank you. Our last one's going to come from Austin Krell. Go ahead, Austin. Hey, Joel. So a guy like uh, Mitchell Robinson, who has, you know, a really big second jump and can really get back up fast on the rebounds. How, how hard is it to keep him down and sort of, you know, try to keep him boxed out? Um, I mean, I, I was out of period when he started getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, at the time I had three fouls and, it was at the beginning of the third. Uh, you know, I was trying to make sure, uh, you know, I don't foul. And, and then also making sure, you know, I do uh, my job. So that was a few times where, you know, the ball just, you know, bounced his way. Uh, and like you said, he's athletic. So he's going to try to jump over you. And uh, if he grabs it, he's going to go back right up. Uh, but, you know, that's that's his job. And he does it great. Uh, but, uh, you know, let's go. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Joe. Hey, Doc. Um, could you just talk a little bit about Ben's defense it, uh, on Barrett tonight? It just seemed to turn the game around. Yeah, he's it, Ben. Is, he's got so many skills, you know, uh, Mark, and and we're trying to get them all out of him. You know, I thought defensively he was terrific. He used his size, he used his length, uh, his instincts are unbelievable. Something I didn't know. Uh, until now coaching him. And then on the other end, I thought with the pace that he played and forced actions, I mean, we got threes just because Ben Simmons pushed the ball up the floor, uh, created actions in the paint and kicked out the guys, you know, um, I thought he was terrific tonight. Thank you. <clears throat> Next we have Keith Pompey. Hey doc, can you just uh, comment on being 10th all time and, and all time wins? Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, I don't count, and it's it's not why I coach, uh, but it's an honor. It, it tells you that I've had a lot of success, Keith. Um, and it also says I've had a lot of good players and a lot of coaches around me, uh, great coaches around me as well. Um, how did you uh, feel your offense did today in the half court? How, did you like I, it? I, I loved it, except for we missed a lot of great shots. And so I'm always fine with that. Like, I don't – 
ever get concerned when guys miss their shots. And, um, you know, when you look at the, the bench and Ferg was what, one for seven, uh, Mike is one for six. And when you look at their shots, if we get those shots every night, you'd be very happy. So overall, I was very happy. Uh, I, was, I was thrilled to death with the first unit's offense. I thought they moved the ball and they played together and they made each other better tonight. And, and I thought that's what, we, that's what we're trying to do. Thanks and congratulations. Oh, thank you. Next, we'll go to Kyle Newbeck. Kyle, go ahead. Hey, Doc. So I just wanted to know, what do you think you're seeing out of uh, Joel and Ben, you know, teaming up on different actions so far? I felt like a, a couple of times tonight, it wasn't necessarily a design look, but but those two somehow found each other and uh, yeah, played off trying, a little more. That's what we're trying to get them more in random. You know, uh, it's tough to game plan a random pick and roll with Joel and Ben uh, involved. When they see it coming, then they can, they can game plan it a little bit. But when Joel gets on top of Ben on a pick and roll and Ben goes over to the middle, you're dead. I mean, there's not a lot to do. And with Ben's side, sometimes the play doesn't go back to Joel. It goes out to the corner to one of our shooters. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do a lot. I thought we did a lot of that tonight. Paul Hudrick, go ahead. Hey, Doc. Uh, and then also just with Joe and Seth Curry, it looked like Seth was starting to get more comfortable in the fourth quarter of the Wizards game and carry that over. What have you kind of seen out of Seth getting more comfortable and then just that pairing with him and Joel? Yeah, I think both. Um, you know, I thought Seth kind of eased into the game, and then I thought he got it going in the third quarter um, and then at the beginning of the fourth, which, which when we needed it. So uh, it's good to see that extra shooter on the floor. I'm telling you guys, uh, Joel is getting more and more confident in the post uh, because of the movement we have uh, – you know, you think about it today. The other day, we had the four shooters on the floor. Tonight, Joel was effective with Ben on the floor cutting and the three shooters. So uh, it's good that you can be effective with both looks. Thank you. Take the last three questions here with everybody that has their hand raised already, starting with Jeff Skumerski. Doc, is this kind of how you envision this team playing here? I mean, you got Joel dominating down low when he comes out. Dwight's doing the same down there. And then, you know, you guys have Ben doing his thing. You got Tobias involved tonight. He had success. And then Seth Curry, you know, draining shots. Is this the, what you kind of envision here from this team, what this team will look like this season? Yeah, Jeff, it's who we're going to have to be. Uh, if we're going to have, if we rely on one guy or two guys, we're not going to win. But when you can get everybody involved, uh, your main two guys are still going to get all their numbers. But what they're doing and, and what I love so far uh, Joel and Ben are making Seth, Tobias, and everyone else around them better players. Uh, and that's exactly what we want them to do. Thank you. Ian Begley, you're up next. Hey, Doc, just a uh, Nick question for you. What do you think uh, the Knicks franchise and fan base is getting in Tom Thibodeau as a coach? A pro. I mean, um, He's just an absolute pro. Uh, he, he loves basketball. He breathes basketball. Uh, he's going to teach these young guys, and they have so many young guys. He's going to teach them the right way to play, uh, the right way to conduct themselves. And I don't think they could have picked a better person than Tibbs. Thank you. Last one coming from Jackson Frank. Hey, Doc. You mentioned Ben creating a lot of open threes, um, you know, in transition and whatnot. And in the past, you've mentioned kind of Ben's aggression as a scorer. I'm curious how you think that's kind of coming along in these first few games. Do you think, like, are you pleased with the balance he's having between attacking the rim and scoring on his own, or, you know, kind of looking to kick out at times too much? How do you think that's kind of progressing? I thought today was perfect. Uh, I didn't like the first game. I thought there was more trying to score into the basket. Today, I thought he had a good balance, Jackson. That's what we want. Um, you know, in the open court, he can get there when he wants to. Uh, the key for him is, when you get to the basket, if no one's there, you lay it in. If you see another person there, you look to the corners. And I think he's doing a great job of that. He did. It's, I thought his balance today was perfect. Thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.